Hi, my name is Zunayat Sabir Ahmed and by the end of this video, you will take control of Q points in Resilum Arena and Avenue and jump to any part of your clip with your finger tap, MIDI or keyboard, doesn't matter. Let's download few YouTube videos to start. I have given the links in the description below. We are gonna use these green screen footages for this video. We can use any available YouTube video downloader. Link for this one is given in the description below. Let's download them. Let's run Resolume Alley which comes with Resolume Arena and Resolume Avenue. As they are low quality videos from YouTube, let's upscale their resolution from Alley. Let's drag and drop the downloaded files to Alley and hit convert. Let's change the dimension from same as source to full HD. Let's drop them to Resolume. Let's check out what we have got. Let's change the transport mode to BPM Sync because we want them flexible with our BPM tap. Let's check out Michael Jackson. Let's pause him for a while and scrub through points. So we're gonna work with the Q points here. If you don't see this panel, look for this panel in view and here. So these are the buttons we use to set pins in specific moments of a clip. And these are the buttons we use to jump to that pins. Let's look for a point where Michael Jackson is steady for a while, maybe in a cool pose, maybe this. Let's hit this and set our first point. So anywhere we are, we can hit this switch and jump to this pin. Let's look for more points, interesting ones. That's a cool one. Let's look more. I think this is okay. Uh, let's look for something he's doing. It's very hard to find interesting moves of Michael Jackson because everything is interesting while he's doing that. Uh, let's look for, hey, maybe this one. And last, let's look for something called Moonwalk. I'm sure he have done it anywhere in this clip. Yeah. Yeah, we got a moonwalk. Let's hit our six point to moonwalk. So let's hit play to see what's going on. Let's see what happens with each click. And every time we want him to moonwalk, we can ta da 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 and to do do. Nice. So let's do same thing for Sai and make him look cooler and in our control. Let's look for points let's trim off all the unnecessary logo part from youtube i love you guys but i gotta trim you off sorry so okay what's happening he is okay nice this is our point one uh what he's doing next is okay this is cool this is our point two maybe let's look for okay this one let's look for okay so, okay this looks cool who's this stupid i don't know let's just put him in one point so that we can bring him anytime we want to hear some stupid guy okay so here we go our cool size back so i think our number five and number two oh no number one looks good yeah it's the same move but different suit so we're gonna use this trick as switching them ta -ra 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 like that we're gonna do that soon for that let's midi map right now so i have an akai apc mini here for today's demonstration let's hit ctrl shift m to go to midi shortcuts let's select this and midi map to our this button check this out this is asking me, shall it stick with this clip or this position? I mean, regardless of whatever clip you put, would it affect on that or not? Or selected clip means whatever is selected, the MIDI mapping is gonna affect on that one. So we are gonna use selected clip because we need this MIDI map to work across multiple footages right now. Let's do same for other buttons. Okay, 
Let's hit Ctrl Shift M to get out of MIDI mapping. Let's put this clip into play and see what's happening here. So we can tak 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 tak. Yeah yeah. So we can, as I said, we can always. So when Sai is dancing, you know, let's make him a little bit slower by tapping out tempo. Let's tap the tempo like tick tak, tick tak, tick tick tak, tick tak, tick tick. Okay, size cool. So we can dick tuck tick tick tuck tum tick tuck tick tick tang dick tuck tick tick tuck tum 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 stupid guy. So let's see what happens with this clip. Since we have set our MIDI mapping into selected clip, so our previous MIDI mapping is supposed to work on Michael Jackson as well. Let's check it out. Let's see what he does. Tuck tuck tum tick tuck moonwalk moonwalk tick. Tuck, tick, tick, tuck, tick, tuck, ding. Looks good. So as you may already know, we have downloaded a green screen footage for a specific reason. Now let's make full use of it. Let's pause Michael Jackson for a while on a nice spot where he's more visible. Maybe totally spread out like this guy doesn't stand still. Yeah, okay. So let's drop chroma key on the footage let's enable show mask that's gonna enable us what we're gonna see and which part are we gonna key out see the black part is gonna be keyed out so let's go closer to green we can always turn this one on and off to see what's going on let's turn any footage on the below to see what's going on hey this looks good michael jackson is totally keyed out to add some depth let's add some drop shadow okay how how much drop shadow our michael jackson is gonna have let's drag the drop shadow after chroma key so let's add some distance this is okay the angle isn't right so let's find a nice angle okay let's noodle with the string i think the spread is gonna work as a diffuser yes it diffuses and let's pull down the opacity a little to make it look real. This looks good. Let's put Michael Jackson onto play. He dances nice. Let's right click on this button. Select on copy here. Let's right click size footage and select paste effects. That will just paste the effects only. You see size also dancing like crazy. Now, let's apply this idea and control these dudes. If you like this video, hit a like, maybe subscribe as well. A lot of videos are coming up next. Now, let's get back. Open Gundam Star! Open Gundam Star! Open Gundam Star! There's one more magical trick you can do with your fingers in Resolume Arena where you can create big impacts with your fingers. Check out this video where I explained that trick. See you next time.